advantage of that is, remember that, you know, root is the top level of the file system. So if I go here, I'm going to recurse out, print my working directory, I'm going to root. I can't go any further. You know, if, if I were to try to, it doesn't matter. If I were to try to recurse, I'm at root. So that's it. That's The buck stops here, so to speak. So if I were to make a, a directory or a folder and use the ch root command to temporarily make that root, then I would not be able to get out of that folder. I'd be jailed or kept in that folder. Hence the term uh, ch root jail. And the advantage of that is, if I were to run a program or application, such as say Firefox, in that folder, and let's say that a worm or a virus were to get past my firewall and get past my antivirus software, um, it would be trapped inside that folder in the ch root jail. It wouldn't be able to get out of that folder and get to the rest of my file system and damage it or, or hurt it in some way. So it's a nice security tool that exists in the Linux and Unix world. So to create the ch root jail, we need to install a few packages. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do sudo apt get install, and I'm going to go grab the d ch root package. And um, you, know, you may have to enter your root level password. I'm just going to say yes to install the required package. Okay, I'm not installed nicely. So I'm going to clear the screen, and now I need to grab a second package, sudo apt-get install. And the next package I want to get is dbootstrap. Dbootstrap. Uh, dbootstrap. And again, if so queried, um, you may have to affirm. Okay, and so now I have the two packages that I need, in this case DCH root and dbootstrap. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a directory. And you can do this anywhere. I recommend creating a few subdirectories or subfolders. Um, so you know, here I'm at the root level of the file system, but I could go into, let's say, there and do something here. Um, I'm going to go out of the root file system and I'm going to do sudo and I'm going to make a, one directory called security and alright so there is security. I'm, now I'm going to go into security and I'm going to make another directory called jail. Okay, and if I print the working directory, so now my path is security jail, and I'm going to choose to set up my, my ch root jail here, and this just gives me one extra subdirectory or layer before getting to the root level, so kind of some extra protection there. So my, when I create it, my, my root jail will be in, you know, root, security, and then jail. Okay, and this being done, um, I need to modify a configuration file. So I'm going to go into the etc folder where my configuration files are, and I need to go into the subdirectory of that uh, etc folder called schroot, uh, and I'm going to clear and list the contents of this folder. So if I list the contents there, the particular file I'm interested in is this one, schroot.conf, and I need to add some things there to set up my, my root jail. Um, I'd like to, you know, I'll try to do things different ways. So we've been using Alt F2 and GK sudo and gedit. Um, this time I'm going to use GK sudo and gedit, which again is just a, a genome X Windows graphical version of sudo and gedit. I'm going to edit the file shroot.conf. This will just launch gedit, the text editor here. That's nice and big, so you can see it. And I, I simply need to add some lines and. Um, so I'm going to start right here in this case. And the first one I'll do it will be the version. So um, I'm going to do Maverick because I'm on Maverick Meerkat. And the description, 
Um, I'm going to do Ubuntu Maverick Meerkat, if I ever spell that right. Um, and my location is going to be security jail. And that was the folder that I made. Um, priority is going to be set to the default of three. The users who can use this could be multiple users. In this case, right now, it's just me. So users is equal to C Germany. That's the guy who wants to use it, and that's who I'm kind of logged in as. C Germany, C Germany. Okay, and um, groups. I need to add S build. Um, and then root groups. And in root groups, I just want to add the root account. Okay. And so I'll, I'll need this information, and now I just want to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it in that configuration file, and I can close. I can now close the editor. <coughs> Excuse me. And I can go back to root, or I could just write from this folder, but I'm, I'm going to go back to root because that'll give me more space over here so you can see the command I'm going to type. And let me stretch this out a little bit. I'm going to pull this. Hard to grab my mouse. There, let me just pull that out a little bit, so hopefully you can, you'll be able to see. Okay, and so I'll clear that. So now I'm up here. So the next thing I want to do is um, sudo and debootstrap, debootstrap, <laughs> and variant uh, dash dash variant equals build with an extra d dash dash arch and then i386 and I'm going to do um, maverick and I'm going to do it this in security and jail that was the folder that I made and I'm going to, um, in this case, I want to in install all of the things that I need for basically a, you know, another copy of Ubuntu to run. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Mira and URL.com. Uh, and then uh, Ubuntu and a forward slash. Okay. For me, the uh, the closest mirror happens to be Georgia Tech because I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida. Um, but I mean, you know, you could do MIT or whoever else. But again, remember, just sudo to bootstrap variant build D. In this case, you know, 32-bit version i386. I'm doing Maverick Meerkat. This is the directory here where I want to set up everything for my Sage root jail. And then this is the mirror or source. So that's Georgia Tech and Ubuntu. And if I hit enter, it'll go out and find those packages and it might take a few minutes. So again, we'll just kind of skip ahead here. Okay, and you know it's some time later and it's finally finished um you know downloading all of the things that it needs.